This video is to show you how to load Stat Pro and which Stat Pro to load uh, in Excel for your um, <clears throat> for your final project here or in general. Um, okay, so uh, I've posted three links here to Stat Pro, um, and now it's about trying to decide which one to use. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you how to load the Stat Pro um, for Excel uh, 2010, 2016, or the 64-bit. Um, okay, so first of all, how to tell which of Excel you have. Um, so going to Excel here, go under File, and um, Account, and you will see which version of Excel you have. So I have 2016. So no, it's going to look slightly different if you have a different version of Excel as well. Um, but that's the one I have, 2016. So now I go back uh, and I go and click on the 2016 link here and it should download a file. Here it is. Show it in the folder. Okay, and I'm going to go grab it here and put it um, somewhere on my computer where I want it. Okay, and now going into Excel, uh, now again go back to File, Options, Add-ins, and Go down here, browse, and go see, go find the file wherever you put it. So I just dropped it in here, here it is, statpro.xla is the file. Okay, that's one I just downloaded off the website. Click OK, click OK. Random thing too, it's nice to add the analysis tool pack and solver. I'm just going to check those off too. You don't have to, but if they're not checked off, they're two handy ones to have around. Click OK, and OK. And now sometimes this happens, interestingly enough, I clicked OK, nothing happened. What should happen, there should be an add-in show up here. Uh, so there should be an add-ins tab that pops up. It didn't, so best thing to do, I'm going to go close the file. When I reopen it, the add-ins tab should now be there. Let's take a look, and there it is. Good. So if it doesn't come up right away when you add it, that's okay. Close it. Open it again. It'll have updated the settings you just um, asked it to change. And there it is under the Add-ins tab. There's Stat Pro with this drop-down menu. Again, this is for Office 2016 or 2010 or 64-bit Excel. How do you know? Go and take a look at your Excel and it will tell you everything you need to know um, under File and possibly account or possibly info. Um, okay. One more way you can also load Stat Pro instead of doing it in Excel through options um, and add-ins is you can just literally double click on the Stat Pro file itself uh, and that will load it in Excel for you. Um, okay, now I've already added it, so you won't get this error message unless you've already added it. Um, but yeah, it'll just pop up right here under Stat Pro and Add-ins if you just double click on it. That will only stay in there. This add-in will only stay in though while you have Excel open. If you do it this way, totally fine. Um, but as soon as you close Excel, that add-in will be gone. You'll just need to go double click on it again to reload it next time you want to use it. Um, okay, and you won't get those error messages. Uh, okay, uh, that's the second way to load Stat Pro. That's not as permanent, but really easy.